this episode of Engineer to Engineer, we'll take a look at mounting methods with different shank types. If you're new to the series, check out the previous episodes to learn more about locating pin head types and the basics to work holding concepts. Before diving into mounting methods, it's important to grasp fit tolerances when working with locating pins. There are three basic types of tolerance fits. Interference, transition, and clearance. Interference, as the name suggests, creates an extremely tight fit by using a slightly oversized shank within a slightly undersized hole. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a clearance fit allows a small amount of space between a slightly undersized shank and an oversized hole. The final tolerance type, transition, provides a near exact match between the shank and hole with slightly overlapping tolerance ranges. The most popular mounting method for most locating pins is the press fit, and utilizes interference to create a constricting fit by forcing the pin's shank into its respective mounting hole. While this provides a secure mount for the pin, it can be extremely difficult to assemble and disassemble, and is not recommended for short-term jigs and fixtures. If you're looking for cost-effective long-term solutions and have the appropriate assembly press, a press fit shank may make the most sense. When a less permanent option, or one that's easier to assemble, is needed, a threaded or tapped shank may provide you with an optimal locating system. Tapped shanks utilize a slip fit, but require access to the opposite side of the base to fix the pin in place. Threaded shanks use a shoulder to locate the pin and fasten down tight with a nut. Keep in mind that due to a lower tolerance on the thread, the typical locating method is to use the shoulder of the pin and not the thread. The final type of mounting method uses a side-mounted set screw, and the locating pin will typically have either a flat to restrict rotational motion and fix it in place, or a notch. A notched shank will restrict both rotational motion as well as forcing the pin further down into the base, making it more secure in its placement. Now armed with the basic mounting methods and tolerance fits, you can make a decision of whether to use an interference press fit a clearance or slip fit with the threaded or tapped shank, or a set screw and flat or notched shank for the locating pins in your jig or fixture. Tune in to the next episode to learn more about locating pin assembly tolerance and alignment concerns and their corresponding solutions. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up below. To stay up to date on all our newest videos, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on social media to see our latest content.